Hey, this is Ben from PowerWF, and I want to introduce you to PowerSE, our new PowerShell script editor. I want to do so in the most jarring way possible, so you remember this. Let's start with the standard dir command. Take a look at the output. Uh, the output here is uh, in the console window, just as we'd expect to see if we typed it in the console window itself. I'm going to flip from the console window into the grid view. Here's the same data, but we're looking at it as a grid. And I'm going to uh, filter this data out by column. I'm going to select the columns that I want to look at. So let's get rid of all the columns. Instead, just select name and last access time and is read only and say OK. And here's that data. And let's go ahead and sort by last access time. And uh, that looks good. This is not what's drawing in cool. What's next is hold on to your hats, right click, generate PowerShell, boom. Look at the script. It changed from being a dir, which I typed the dir to dir select name last access time is read only sort last access time go back to my console window i hit play and i see just that data from this script so what happened there i wrote the dir and power se helped me write the rest of it all i had to do is go to the grid view select the columns that i was interested in sort it correctly and then i right click and chose to generate powershell reason number one you should definitely go download power se and give it a try Second thing I want to show you is that any any window, any pane within this app can be maximized at any time by hitting F11. So I'm in the console, hit F11. This might as well be a standard PowerShell console window. Uh, except that any time I feel like it, I can hit F11, come back into this normal mode, and look at my results, whatever the last results were, in a data grid format and start operating on those, or go into the editor. Similarly, I can have the data grid highlighted, hit F11, and I'm looking at a full screen data grid of whatever the data was from my last command executed in the console or from the editor. So if this is the last command executed, then that's the data I see here. Also, I can go to help and do the same thing there, hit F11. There are special keys uh, for help. F1 will go immediately to the help. And back again. F12 will go to the console and back again. Reason number two, you should definitely go download PowerSE from PowerWF.com and give it a try. And the last interesting feature that I want to show you, uh, which m we think sets us apart, uh, is this. So let's, let's have two commands here. Um, PS in this window and our dir over here in this window. Now you notice that they use uh, the same host. Uh, if I flip between tabs here, they use the same host. At any time, though, I can change that behavior by going to the debug menu and saying, and unchecking the executing com common global host. And now each one of these has its own host. So now the dir has this host, and the ps has his host. And we can switch between the two. And the data grid follows the host. Very useful if I want to see uh, seeds data. All right, so now let's go through the checklist of features that you'd expect to see in a script editor. We do IntelliSense. The way you'd expect to. On both PowerShell and for .NET. That's very helpful. We do debugging, so we can set breakpoints. We can execute, step in and out of code. We can go look at a stack for a call stack. We can look at a watch window to see both environment variables and local variables and, lo and variables defined here in the script. And we can, of course, step through code and debug. We have contextual help. Everything you click on, the help will follow you around. I clicked on sort, I see sort in the help pane. Click on select, I see select in the help pane. Click on dir, I get get child item in the, in the pane. Includes both the syntax, the description, examples, and the individual properties. I find the example to be pretty pretty useful. An example you like, you want to paste back into your script, set your cursor, click the green button, and there it is. It gets copied into your script. It's what you'd expect to see from a PowerShell script editor. We have bookmarks. We have outlining. We have snippets. We have community search and download. You can manipulate the fonts. You can change the 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 uh, all the panes and drag them around to the way you like the windows. Side by side editing and much much more. So thank you for these five minutes. Please download PowerSE from PowerWF.com and uh, and give it a shot. Appreciate it.